Hello, welcome to IF. Today, cyborgs. What if we can become part man, part machine? Once only in the realms of comic books and fantasy, but now becoming a reality. Mankind has often rushed headfirst into new technologies with little consideration given to the consequences. With the creation of the first computer chip, a new age was born. We have all seen it in the movies, a future where the machines have taken over the human race and we hold on by a thread. From the Terminator to the Borg of Star Trek, these mixtures of man and machine have stalked our nightmares, a manifest image of all that could go wrong. But let's take a step back, would it really be that bad to add technology to our bodies? We already use technology to help those with disabilities, and as of yet the singularity hasn't occurred. There is no AI overlord waiting to rip the flesh from our bones and use it to cover its robot army. In fact, the first cyborgs are already here. In 1998, Kevin Warwick, a professor of cybernetics at Reading University, became the first cyborg. Warwick had an RFID chip implanted in his arm. This enabled him to turn on lights with a snap of his fingers. Once he even let his wife's brainwaves take control of his body, she also having cybernetic implants. Take a look at his website, his new book giving some insight into what it's like to be the world's first cyborg. Since Warwick's discoveries back in the late 90s, Cybernetics have come a long way. Augmentation has become commonplace. Many injured soldiers have been given new prosthetic limbs. There are limbs that give the wearer the ability to feel. This allowing people whom have lost fingers to touch and have sensations again. Exoskeletons have been created which enable paraplegics to walk again. Even implants that allow the deaf to hear and the blind to see. These limbs and replacement organs, being mechanical, can be upgraded to give a person abilities they did not once have. Super strength, super hearing, the ability to see in different light spectrums. We are quickly reaching a point where those who are able may consider giving up natural body parts, replacing it with technologies to gain an extra sense or an ability they don't have. Well. In fact, there is a small underground movement of body modification artists that are doing this today. Grinders. These men and women hack their own bodies. They are pushing the boundaries of what is currently possible when it comes to human augmentation. Their thought is that human augmentation as a concept is featured heavily in science fiction and futurism and the assumption that most people have is that those kinds of advancements will come from medical or technological companies. But what they believe is really happening is that augmentation begins in the basements of hackers and in the back rooms of piercing studios. These are the grinders. One modification popular in grinder circles is the subdermal implant. A subdermal implant is any object which is asserted beneath the skin. In the body modification community, these are commonly used for aesthetics, to add horns under the scalp for example, or for sexual purposes. These implants have been made of biosafe materials, something that won't be rejected by the body or cause health problems. Silicon is most commonly used, but biosafe glass is also acceptable. This isn't the kind of procedure that just any piercing studio is willing or qualified to perform, but grinders look to implant magnets or RFID tags where able to get help from existing body modification artists. With their new implants, they had gained some extra abilities. Magnets in the fingers helping them to hold metal objects and feel electricity. Biomonitoring systems to watch their bodily processes in real time but they are still a long ways from anything we have seen in the movies. They have however taken the first steps into a new age. 
If we parallel these technologies with something like flight, in just 100 years we went from the Kitty Hawk to the B2 stealth bomber. 100 years from now where will the grinders be? Recent innovations are hinting at the direction that we will be taking. The recent development of biochip technologies could mean an organic interface from the human body to any machine parts we add. This offers a solution to a major hurdle with current prosthesis. The most advanced robotics today still use very basic inputs, often sensing nerve impulses to enable the movement or actions to occur. A biochip is very similar to a cell and would seamlessly join organic to the inorganic, fusing to become one body, a whole, a true cyborg. So let's jump ahead. It's 150 years from today and body augmentation through cybernetics has become the norm. What is the cyborg future going to look like? People may be transplanting limbs and organs in the same regard as today we get a tattoo. Different body parts from different companies come in and out of fashion. One month it's cool to see the world in microwaves, the next infrared. People begin to change their parts with the trends. The human body becomes a modular system, constantly being upgraded with the latest and greatest tech. We would slowly add more to our bodies, becoming ever more machine-like. This continuing until we reach a point where we would have to ask ourselves, is the body what makes us who we are or is it the mind? We may also be signing away our freedom we would become beholden to the companies that built our body parts. We could become slaves to these companies. They may well force hardware and software changes on users. We would be robots if you will. Such an irony. As the word robot is from the Czech robota meaning forced labor. We would be slaves forced into servitude by the very thing we created to make our lives better. it may well irreversibly change our species. We have evolved as individuals but with advancements in cybernetics comes brain chips. But communication is now direct, brain to brain, just like Kevin Warwick and his wife back in 98. If our consciousness exists on a chip, is it really us or just a copy? We could become a super organism Having a hive mind we would no longer be individuals. With this the last threads of humanity would be gone. The new species would rule the earth and maybe beyond. This cybernetic race now venturing out into the stars to populate new worlds and new planets. The cyborgs. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please give me a like or a thumbs down if you're part of the cybernetic master race, maybe ring that little bell or subscribe. Till next time.